First, we're going to talk about sports on Ireland. On Ireland, they have very weird sports like hurling and Gaelic football. Hurling and Gaelic football have the same field and goals. The field is like a regular football field, but in hurling and Gaelic football, they have two goals instead of one. In hurling, you have an axe-shaped club and a helm with a face protection. In Gaelic football, you all, almost have regular football, it's just a bit smaller and heavier. The ball uh, in hurling is also a lot smaller than a Gaelic football. Uh, the size of a ball in uh, hurling is the same as a tennis ball, but it's a bit like a baseball. Uh, but now I'm going to talk about uh, how we play Gaelic football and hurling. First, I'm going to talk about hurling. Hurling is a full contact sport like rugby. Uh, you have two goals that you can score in. One of them gives your team three points. And uh, the size of that goal is like a normal football goal. Uh, and the second goal is big like an American football goal. Uh, that goal gives one point. In hurling you play mostly with your axe shaped club but you can also take the ball with your hand but you're not allowed to throw the ball to anyone and if you take the ball with your hand you're allowed to run three steps not more. If you want to run with the ball more than three steps you need to balance the ball on your club or dab the ball on your club. Gaelic football and hurling have the same scoring system. The rules of Gaelic football are pretty simple. They're almost the same as in hurling. You can pick up the ball with your hands, you can kick the ball, you can pretty much do anything with the ball. Uh, but when you're transporting the ball, you need to bounce the ball or dab the ball. In e and in each team, you're 15 players and uh, one of them is the goalie and in Sweden we don't have hurling or Gaelic football so I can't compare it to something here in Sweden and that's all about I'm going to talk about sports now I'm going to talk about a little bit of uh, Ireland's environment and stuff um, in Ireland they have a pretty pretty country they, uh, they have a great environment uh, the neighboring countries is Great Britain. Uh, Ireland is uh, one of the biggest isle islands in the world. To be exact, is the fifth largest island in the world. And the area of, uh, uh, of Ireland is 84,421 square kilometers. In Ireland, they have a very nice nature with a very green grass and stuff. In Ireland, they also have always been a farming country because of the good environment over there. Now I'm going to talk about the school system and education system. Uh, the former education system is considered by the uh, countries is essentially Catholic, which leads uh, to a struggle between church and the state of influence over education. The state is responsible almost entirely for the funding while the church thought of the local boards in habit as owners. Public elementary school was introduced in uh, 1831, 40 years earlier than Britain. Uh, uh, the primary school has 8th grade, children start at 5 years and uh, uh, and uh, compers schooling extended now to 15 years. Primary schools are generally small, half have less than four teachers. In Sweden, we also have that you need to go to school when you're 16, 6 years old and stop going to school when you're 16 or 15 years old. Uh, and then you can uh, go to high school and get some extra education to easier get a job when you get older, but you don't have to. And now over to Jonas. St. Patrick's Day is Ireland's national day, and it's very big on Ireland. The celebration starts several days before the national day. St. Patrick 
were a man that sent all the snakes away from Ireland. There are no snakes on Ireland. St. Patrick, Patrick died on March 17. And on that day they celebrate St. Patrick's Day as the national day. Halloween is from the beginning an Irish tradition. Halloween has gotten their name from All the Saints Day. It's a day when you should think about all the people that passed away. But nowadays it's more about to put on a costume and go to parties and drink. In Sweden we also have Halloween. And then all the children put on a costume and go around to houses and say freaking fruit. There, there's a, there is, <laughs> there is not a lot of famous people on Ireland. The band U2 come from Ireland, and that is a really famous rock band for those that didn't know. Uh, and, and there is two brothers called Edward that are born in 1991. They get famous through the program X Factor on Ireland. They get famous in Europe through Eurovision Song Contest. There they have contributed several times. Ireland have been a very poor country until 1995, when the country's economy grows 10% per year until 2000. Then it grows 7% the next four years. 46% of the country's economy come from industries. About 500 people walk in the line and with things <laughs> around and with things around it. And one third of the people walk in the industries, and the rest of the people have varied casual works. Ireland is pretty much a Sweden at the works. Very few rich people that got the richness from other people's work. But if you want, you can study and be anything you want. On Ireland they celebrate Christmas and Easter as we do in Sweden because they are Christians as we are. The only thing that not are the same are the food and the national days we don't celebrate on the same day. And now over to Philip. Ireland had approximately 4.6 million inhabitants in the year 2013 and has the 118 rank on population list and is also 0.06% of the world population. About 1 million, a quarter of Ireland's population lives in Dublin, Ireland's capital. The national flag of Ireland is a ver vertical tricolor of green, white and orange. Presented as a Greek gift in 1848 to Thomas Francis Magier from a small group of French women. But it wasn't until the Easter Rising rebel adopted it in 1916 and then it became the national flag of Ireland. The green pale in the flag symbolizes Irish republicanism dating back uh, to the Society of United Irishmen in the 1790s. The orange represents a minor minority who were supporters of the King William III. The white in the center signifies a lasting truce between the two cultures and a living together in peace. The politics. Ireland has a parliamentary representative democracy republic and a member state of the European Union. The head of the government is Tisi. Uh, the Taneste is the vice pr prime minister. There are 15 government departments. The TSEC and the Man Minister collectively form the government under the Irish constitution and they hold executive power. And that's everything for us. Thank you. Bye.